Hello guys, today I'm starting kind of a series on this YouTube channel about new Filament 3. There are so many new features in Filament 3 that it's impossible to review in one video, so I will schedule six or seven, not sure yet, videos for separate topics about new features or how things work in a new way in Filament 3 compared to Filament 2. So all this week will be around that, except of course for Saturday video from my car. And I want to start with Filament 3 example, but not directly about the changes. It's for those who haven't seen Filament in action, and I just want to show you an example of reactive form, form that would change the values in live mode, and how it is easy to implement that in Filament 3. It was also quite easy in Filament 2, but I will use Filament 3 syntax just to adopt the new habits. And this project will be kind of a teaser of V3 because as you can see, there are already a few new things here visible. So this is filament resource, but the URL is slash user. So there's a separate admin panel and user panel, new thing in filament three, and then also top menu, you see the top menu. And both are very easy to customize in filament three. And I will show you that in upcoming videos this week. And also simultaneously, I started shooting a course from scratch for those of you who want to get started with filament. So there's already a text based course on filament three and daily I will keep publishing new lessons. But the first at the moment, five lessons are published. Probably by the time this video airs, there will be more lessons published, but you can already start learning filament if you haven't yet. I will link that in the description below. So topic of today is dynamic form. And the idea for that came to me while filament three was still in beta. And I filled in an interesting dynamic form for myself, for my personal use, registering my daughter to a swimming pool. And I thought this could be a great example of testing something out with filament three. So the original form is like this. It's a Lithuanian language, but it doesn't really matter. So you choose the date when you want to start, then you choose the location, the address of the pool, only one in my case, then you choose how many lessons per week. I will skip that in my example. And then you choose the age, three to four years, five to six years and stuff like that. Then the level, is it a beginner, intermediate or advanced swimmer? And then the form shows you available times like Monday, 16 hours, Tuesday and stuff like that. So this is the inspiration and this is how it works in my filament example. So locations. I click on a location, then it shows the level to choose from, then I choose birth date. So it's not exactly as in the original form, birth date instead of just age. So for example, I fill in the date and then the system offers me the list of groups by these criteria. For example, if I choose intermediate, other groups are shown, beginner, refresh again. And if I choose another location, maybe in some cases, none of that combination gets any groups available. So how to build such a form in filament? And this is the code, I called it membership resource to add a membership for a user. So you generate it as a typical resource, PHP Artisan make filament resource membership. And then in the form, these are the fields. So radio from locations with options from a relationship. So get the addresses, the locations. And then this is important live, which means whenever the value is changed on this radio button, the full form will be refreshed with all the values available. Next field, another radio for level similar to locations, but with this added. So hidden method with a callback function and this get contains all the values, all the current latest values of the form inputs, which is exactly what we need. So if there is no location ID chosen yet, this field exists, but hidden. So this returns true and then hidden is activated. And then this field is also live, which means whenever I choose a level, also form is refreshed. Then the third thing, date picker, also hidden, but with two parameters now, two conditions. If location and level are not set, then that field is hidden and this is also live. So these three are live and then the final radio button gets all the values from those three and return the options, available options for the search. So again, radio make group ID options and these options are dynamic. If for some reason birth date is not chosen, then we return empty options and then we calculate the age 
and we return available groups from the database, specifically format the values with collection method map with keys to match the format of ID and then text value. And then also hidden if not birth date chosen. And final thing, kind of like a trick, helper text can be used instead of options. So for radio button, helper text as many methods in filament, in filament forms accept callback function. And then you can check if empty options, then sorry, no options available. So yeah, this is the example I wanted to show you how to build a reactive form live form in filament. Under the hood, it has a lot of magic. It uses filament, it uses live wire under the hood. But I think it's a pretty great syntax to build dynamic forms in Laravel with help of filament. If you notice that in this code something could be improved or done differently or maybe I missed something, shoot in the comments below. With filament, many times I encounter a situation where I do things one way, but I didn't know there were other ways. And creator of filament, Dan, or someone on the team pointed out to me that there's another better way. So I'm pretty sure I will bump into those with version 3 as well, so correct me if I'm wrong here somewhere. So I hope you are impressed with filament as much as I am and subscribe to the channel to get the following videos this week on Filament 3 new features. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.